Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. In this video, we're going to talk about 15 words that are commonly mispronounced. Maybe you are pronouncing some words in a wrong way. Let's do a quick test. I show you a word and you pronounce it. Asthma. Pseudonym. Yacht. Sword. Lettuce. Thing is, in English, there are so-called silent letters that you actually see and you're tempted to read them when you pronounce a word, but uh-uh-uh, you don't do it. Let's talk about those words in this video. Cupboard. The P is silent, so it's not cupboard, it's cupboard. Cupboard is a piece of furniture with doors and shelves. Cupboard. Hey, where is the grater? It's in the cupboard. No space to think in that broom cupboard. The next word, subtle. It is written with a B, so make sure that when you're writing, you actually spell it in the right way, but the way you pronounce it is subtle. Subtle means not loud, not obvious, subtle. For example, I think we need a more subtle approach. There's a B in subtle? By the way, the letter B is also not pronounced when it follows a letter M at the end of the word. Let me show you some examples. Climb, climb. There is no B in the end when we pronounce it. Calm, calm, something you use for your hair, calm. We don't pronounce B. B is also not pronounced in words like debt, plumber, and many more. How do you know it? You learn it. The next word is mortgage. Mortgage is a type of loan that you get to buy a house. It has a letter T, which is silent and is not pronounced. Mortgage. They took out a 15-year mortgage, which means that they have 15 years to repay the debt. Debt, <laughs> not debt, debt. I mortgaged my house. I'm in $200,000 of debt, more. Oh my God, this is my favorite. <laughs> Colonel, seriously, Colonel, why? I don't know. Colonel. Basically, if you Google Reddit, it says that it's just because this word was borrowed from French, so the way it is written has nothing to do with the way it's pronounced. Colonel. Colonel Glenn launches in a few weeks. Debris. Debris. Silent S. Debris refers to everything that is left after an accident. I don't know, when the airplane crashes, we have debris. When explosion happens, what is left after this is called debris. Again, this word comes from French, and that will be a very good explanation why the S in the end is not pronounced. Unfortunately, during the evacuation, astronaut Mark Watney was struck by debris and killed. I think it's also important to just keep in mind that English and, you know, the na America, the nation who speaks English, people came here from all over the world. So everybody brought their own piece of culture, their own words, and they assimilated with the language. So sometimes you're like, I really want one single rule that I can follow when I'm reading and pronouncing English words. Unfortunately, there are some rules, but there are a lot of exclusions from those rules as well. The word sandwich. If you actually look at the dictionary, you would see that there is D in pronunciation of this word, but most of the time I hear it, people say sandwich without the D. And in British, they just say sandwich, sandwich, sam I, I forgot how to mimic, how to try and mimic British accent. But anyways, the letter D is silent there. When I think about this, how do I explain this to myself? People try to make things easier for themselves and saying send the de witch is just three uh, consonant letters one by one and like three consonant sounds this is too hard send the witch is too hard sandwich allows you to sing while speaking right when you can sing and swing when you're talking when you're speaking english just makes things easier and smoother and this is why people choose to pronounce words in an easier manner so it's easier to speak just a tomato sandwich the next word is column. This is where you don't pronounce the N at the end of this word, column. I didn't have the time to read the whole article. I just read the first column. Actually, there is a certain rule that you can memorize. When N 
comes after M at the end of the word, you don't pronounce the N. Some examples to make this clear. Autumn, damn. So it actually ends with an N, but you don't pronounce it. It's my entire column. The next word is sword. Sword is a weapon. A weapon which is written with a W, but you don't pronounce this W. Sword. Being famous is often a double-edged sword. This is a saying that means there are good things about being famous and bad things about being famous. You told me that the Vorpal Sword is hidden in the castle. Help me find it. By the way, all of this is taught in a course called Speak Like an American. This is a pronunciation course where you will learn where exactly your tongue goes when you pronounce things, where you would learn how exactly your mouth should open and close if you want to sound more like a native speaker. So if you're willing to get rid of your accent or just to pronounce words in the right way because pronunciation actually affects the meaning. And sometimes when you fix a couple of small things, it becomes a lot easier to understand you. The link will be down below. There will be a special promo code to join this course. Start speaking like a native or at least just fix your pronunciation and speak in the right way. The link is down below. See you on the course. When I first came to the US, I didn't know the word lettuce and I said lettuce. Just because, well, this, because this sounds normal. Like this sounds the way I would read it, right? Lettuce. And people are like, oh, lettuce? Here you go. The same, same thing. The word that I've heard for the first time here in the US was cilantro because I learned uh, Italian. I was like, cilantro. <laughs> You're like, what? Cilantro? Are you serious? Cilantro. Okay, anyways, lettuce. This is the way you pronounce this word. Double guacamole? Of course. No cilantro? Nope. Lettuce shredded, not chopped? Yep. Vegetable. Two letters E here are silent. Listen to me carefully. So it's not vegetable, but whatever. It's vegetable. So the second E is not pronounced and the last E is not pronounced. Vegetable. I got a vegetable garden. Two years ago, it was a patch of dirt in my backyard. Soften. Here we have a silent T. The same thing happens in a word castle. And asthma. Here, by the way, in, in the asthma case, you might be confused because they have TH there and you're like, ath asthma? Asthma? No, asthma. So in this case, we have silent T and silent H, asthma. Don't try to soften me up. Pseudonym. Oh my God. Again, some foreign word that came into English. Pseudonym. Yes, not pseudonym. Pseudonym. The first P is silent. A pseudonym is a name that somebody uses instead of their real name. Lingua Marina is a pseudonym that I use on this channel and my real name is Marina Mogilko. That is my pseudonym. P is also not pronounced when it comes as a first letter in words followed by consonant, like psycho or psychology or pneumonia. There was never any parking by the psychology building. Another word that comes from French is a word coup, where you don't pronounce P in the end. Coup means an unexpectedly successful achievement. The meaning of this word is a sudden illegal attempt taken by the citizens to take control of the government. Coup. He'll think you organized a coup. Yacht. Not a yacht, but yacht. A yacht is a boat with a sail that is used for racing or traveling. And basically here you have two letters, CH, that are not pronounced. Yacht. How about we spend a weekend on a yacht? That sounds great. Tonight was a 10,000 per person fundraiser to pay for major renovations at the East Hampton Yacht Club. Last but not least, government. The government is planning to increase taxes. Government. Government. Here we don't pronounce the N in the middle. Again, my explanation would be too many consonants. Government would be too much. Government? Sounds okay. This is the way you pronounce this word. She was a secretary for a government agency and I am too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video up to the very end. I hope it was useful and I hope you learned something new about the English language. This language that keeps exciting me, keeps surprising me whenever I see a new word. Um, I hope this was useful for you guys. Thank you so much and see you very soon in my next videos. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends.
See you soon. Bye.